Hey everybody, what's going on? Rob Sesternino back here with, of course, the great Jenny Autumn. Jenny, how are you? I am excellent, Rob. You okay. know, another another week on the farm. Another week on uh, the farm. We will be talking about Farmer Wants a Wife, episode number two. We're so happy that you are here with us. But Jenny, uh, we do have some news here at the top of the show, as uh, we have long been talking about how we are going to change up the format for our weekly podcasting. But mm -hmm. uh, we do officially have some news to uh, get into with our listeners, with the Millie gang. We have a new format. Yes. We Officially. Love a good Officially. We've been talking it through. We We're structure. here. We're here. <laughs> and we have, we went back and forth. We talked about a lot of things. And ultimately, Jenny has a great idea for... <laughs> what this podcast is going to be about. Jenny, do you want to you want to let the listeners in? Of course. Why not? I love letting the listeners in. Um, so, you know, some of these shows that we cover, Rob and I, sometimes they're a hit. Boom. Sometimes we get a few weeks in and we are like, we should we should have quit this. Yeah, we quiet have quit. Yes, <laughs> we should have stopped podcasting. We should have about stopped. This. We should have stopped. But um, we had no way to do that. We did Where not, are the breaks? Yeah. What do you do when you start podcasting about a show and then it's like you've waded too far into the ocean and now you're like, oh, well, we missed I, I don't our exit. I... How do we? Yeah. Get, uh, all right, next next yep. exit is uh, ninety two miles. <laughs> So Sorry, I Jenny, guess, that's like, uh, I don't know how many kilometers. Like, uh, yeah. like 200 or something. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> th this is where we find ourselves sometimes, where we're like, you know what? We always enjoy the time we spend together, the two of us, each week when we the get to talk. I, I, I think I'm speaking for both of us, but I, I think you feel the same. And sometimes the show that we are podcasting about is just, it's just not it. It's not a hit. And so what we decided was the concept of the show is hit or quit. Is the show a hit or should Rob and I quit? Yep. If it's a That's hit, it. we keep going. We watch That's the next it. episode. We're we doing going. it. We'll, we'll come back next week and we'll come back next week no matter what. I think yeah. that that's the important. We're not quitting podcasting. No, it's We're not. We're just going to start a new show. Yeah. Yeah. And a new reality show. With that. Yes. A new reality show. We're keeping show. it reality because yeah. that's that's what we do here. A new reality show and a new reality show that's a, currently airing. Like we're currently airing, this is not the yeah. RJP Rewind. We're not gonna go back and watch an old show or anything like that. But we are going to like I don't know, maybe if something like premiered the week before, maybe we can do uh like, like go back a, a week. Up. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. And and this is basically because it's like, you know. We are not, we have gone through some, some gruesome times. Uh, you know, we've stuck with some shows that were, you know, muddy bogs uh, of, of a slog and we can do it. Like mm -hmm. we, we, I believe in us, we can, and we will do it. If, if the people want it, we will. Yeah. Um, but if there's something else emerging that people are like, mm, I'm a little interested. Yep. You're having the distracted boyfriend situation going on. Like we are not opposed to quitting and taking a little look to see if the next thing is a hit. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Okay. So what we have done is that we have polled our audience. We will get into those poll results later on. We said, we're coming back. We're at recapping episode two of farmer wants a wife. We will do that first, but then, after we get done talking, we might, you know, our feelings could evolve as we talk it through here on uh, Farmer Wants a Wife, episode two. Later on in the show, we will talk about, we will go to the lanterns and we will talk about, <laughs> are we going to ring the bell? Okay. We will hear what the audience has said. We will have a form every week. Go to robinswebsite.com slash hit or quit. You could let us know. Is Farmer Wants a Wife a hit or do we quit? And we do have the results from today's poll. So we will uh, bring that in. And uh, the audience has voted and told us uh, if they think Farmer Wants a Wife is a hit or if we should quit. And then we will factor that in 
with uh, Jenny and my decision. And we will find out at the end of the show if we will be continuing to cover Farmer Wants a Wife next week. So you don't have to watch it next week if we are not going to be covering it. And also, we give the audience an option to tell us what we should be watching. And uh, we will make a call at the end of the show if we do switch it up. Is that too complicated? I don't think that's too complicated. It's, we, I think the show's a hit or we quit. That's the yeah, show. That's the podcast. Yeah. Okay. And I and I think that's great. And I think that at least how I feel, as long as we are together and we're we have something to talk about, mm-hmm. I'm happy. Yep. And I feel like I've seen the sentiment that other people are also happy about that. But if people have ideas about what they would prefer us to be uh you know looking at then why not let them in you know like mm-hmm. we you know we shouldn't be making all the decisions here i don't even like making decisions okay all right so well we will talk we need that about feedback. decision <laughs> later on but much like these four farmers uh we are on the search for love of uh who we're gonna settle down with will it be farmer wants wife or will it be something else and so jenny i thought that this was a uh, more interesting night here on farmer wants a wife as uh, yeah. we got to the absurdity of these five women ultimately all moving in <laughs> with uh each with one of these four farmers Yes, I will give Farmer Wants a Wife like it's flowers where they are due. This is unique to a lot of dating reality shows. And it is precisely the reason why I think it has the potential for great success. Not Maybe yes. not great success for drama or wackiness. But I think the chance that two people or potentially uh, eight people, Hmm. (laughs) I have to do the math there, Uh, could end up happily ever after here and not break up in six months with a a notes app post on Instagram. Um, (laughs) Because they are doing things that, as far as I'm aware, no other dating show is doing. They're not on an island. They're not on a yacht. They're Mm -hmm. not in a house. They're not on a train. They're not on a boat. They are... In living in, I mean, I will say one person's uh, farm, but presumably if you are choosing to marry a farmer, you're going to move into that farm. They are living the somewhat day-to-day life that they would live if they were to be with this person. But you get the fun of all five of them, at least to start, being there at the same time, all living in the same house while he... You know, these farmers are trying to build connections with all of them. So I am hopeful that there is like a possibility of drama from that part, because at least with like in The Bachelor, you know, all all the people like all the 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 women or the men, depending on its bachelor or bachelorette, are living in like a mansion together. But yeah. like the, the lead is not living in there. It's not their house. Like it's different. I think that this is being smaller and like more intimate um, I think that there's maybe more of a chance for things getting a little bit more stressful, um, because it's a little bit more like real life, um, and, and less like a TV show. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. I, it makes sense what you're saying. And also famously on the bachelor bachelorette that we were talking about, people are there. Are they there for the right reasons? Mm-hmm. Uh, there is no other reason why <laughs> any of these women would be, <laughs> Uh, showing up for farmer wants a wife if they did not <laughs> really understand fully the premise of being the wife of a farmer yeah you i'm sorry you, okay, first of all the the premise is in the title like you know exactly what you're getting yourself into maybe not like to the d- like deep details like not all farmers are the same Um, but you are, you know, you're signing up for this with at least an understanding of what lifestyle and type of person Mm -hmm. you are looking to end up with. Um, you can't tell me that anyone is signing up for this show as a career move. (laughs) None of these women are (laughs) vying to be the next farmerette. Oh, you know what I mean? (laughs) Do you think that that, that could ever be a thing? We need the lady farmers. Farmerette like, wants a farmhand. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I think the, I, mean, I mean I guess we could do a you know lady farmer is looking there are for lady farmers. Yeah, uh, no doubt, no doubt. And um, I don't know if any of the other versions that already exist already have. But have none this, of these like, women, Jenny, there. are farm owners who would then be able to be looking for a farmer husband. Well, I think that if they already had their own farms, it would be maybe a conflict of interest because you can't are you going to live separately on your right. own farms whose farm wins you know it's a mm -hmm. battle of the farms like mm -hmm. what do you do is it like you you compare who has the most cattle yeah who has the most acre like where are we going to live who yeah whose farm are we keeping right Jen, jenny <laughs> we ultimately uh explore here really on farmer wants a wife uh really like some of the best aspects of marriage uh which ultimately seems to be free labor <laughs> i mean one of my notes from the premiere was was do these men want a wife or do they just need help on the farm mm -hmm. <laughs> so i think we're really why can't it to... be both <laughs> well that's clearly uh what have you what ever heard of farmhand with benefits <laughs> Can you give me a farm hand? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that seems to be what we're what we're getting here. I think that this concept is hilarious, though. Um, and I which part? Farmer well, wants wife. All of it. Uh, but I the concept where we have built in pseudo challenges. They're not challenges because there seems to be no competition or prize or winning of anything. It's not like. Whoever does the best at picking up twigs um, gets more or private cowfoo. time with Hunter. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like that. But we're getting these, like, activities. But farmers be watching. <laughs> they, they do be watching. <laughs> I love this concept that, like, okay, you are on the show purposely to, to find a husband with a very particular um, job. And you are going to have to learn how they they do things and what sort of things you might have to do to support this person in their lifestyle and i think that's genius yeah. and i think that there needs to be more reality shows where people get immersed in the like can you imagine rob if you okay first of all this is an imaginary land because you have a wonderful wife and you don't have to worry about this. But can you imagine if you had like a like who wants to marry a podcaster and like you have to you have all these people in your house. Like what are the tasks that you're you're being like, all yeah. right, as a podcaster, like you have. to Right. Do well, Jenny, you touch on something that I think is really good here because I feel like that. Yeah. These other dating shows are just like all about the romance and dinners and extravagance. But this I mean, this is really the wife Olympics of it uh, like it's like, hey, <laughs> all right. Uh, that sure. You're attractive. Sure. We hit it off. But how are you at the chores? Yeah. Are, are they like, you know, can you handle the you, cows? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you don't really seem like you're into uh, cleaning up after the horses. Yeah. Because Did, those are going to be the things that become slow artists. with fixing my fence. <laughs> yeah. You don't seem like you've handled a yeah. lot of wood in your time. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it's like. This is this is literally what is happening on this show, though. Like they're th these they're not challenges. Like imagine it's just like, all right, guys, today we're, we're this tree has fallen down in the pasture. We have to chop it up and get rid of it. Like it's just the most mundane things. But this is life, baby. OK, and you need to be prepared for this to be your life. And that is why I think that like. It is going to weed out the people that are like, oh, God, like, this was not for me. Uh, mm -hmm. Because you can't be on this show and think just one more week and that's another 50,000 followers on Instagram. <laughs> There's no way. If yeah. you were like, this is not the life for me, you're getting the F out. Like, you, leave. you cannot tell me different. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, that, those are, that's very well said about everybody here on Farmer Wants a Life. They, they have to really want to be there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's just see. Okay. So uh, Cassidy Joe on Instagram uh, does have 8,400 Instagram followers. Okay. Okay. 
Yep. Let's okay. have a sneeze at. Yep. Uh, has a photo with uh, latest deer kill. Has a photo. How so did you? She's, she's not fat. How did you find her so it. easily? Because I'm pretty sure last week during the podcast, I searched Alan Farmer wants a wife. <laughs> On Instagram, I did not deny not finding anything. Hmm. And it well, still searched... comes up on my Instagram like that I searched for it. Yeah, I searched Cassidy Joe Instagram and she's got okay. a pretty robust Instagram presence. So I don't know, maybe that's how uh they found her for the show. But right. ultimately but I think she's in like I think she's very into Alan, right? I don't know. I think she really wants to win the show. Oh, you think that she <laughs> but so, anybody's gonna be the farmerette. Maybe it's gonna be her. <laughs> the farmerette. Um, <laughs> coming to hit or quit. In a, yeah, in a few months. Sloan from Farmer Wants a Life. I'm not sure uh, no. what the Instagram presence is. So, Sloan would never be farmerette because she's a city girl. Yes. Okay. All right. She could never be the farmerette. <laughs> well, Jenny, uh, let let's talk about I guess uh, you know our our headlines uh, from this episode of Farmer Wants a Wife. Okay, for anybody who's not mm -hmm. watching the show, uh, we had one confirmed person did go home <laughs> of the twenty women who showed up, Wild. and then honestly, um, I'm not sure if Megan left at the end of the show. It was not clear. Uh, yes. I'm assuming probably. Probably. I, I, don't, I don't know, though. We, she said, I can't do this. I need to go home. And uh, yeah. And, and then, then, yeah, Hunter, Hunter said, this, this Hunter said tough. tough. This is tough. Yeah. <laughs> I love Hunter. You think this is tough? You should have watched <laughs> Special Forces. <laughs> yeah. You have no idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fail! Um, <laughs> You, can you imagine trail, you muppet <laughs> can you imagine them like while they're trying to do the billy billingsley job? yeah <laughs> was, was there billy you gotta pay the man you gotta pay the man <laughs> you gotta pay this horse you gotta feed this horse mm -hmm. <laughs> pay the man feed the horse <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah okay That'd be so brilliant <laughs> so megan might be leaving she says reality tv is hard but uh i felt so bad for sloan jenny who's Slo farmer allen kicks out Sloan. every other farmer said I can't. Yeah, it's too soon. Can't, vote, can't so, get rid of somebody. Al, Farmer Allen, only person. Who says, mm, all right. Of course. That's, I think it's time to go. Well, don't forget, Rob. Allen actually invited his sixth pick. <laughs> we don't know who that was because he did pick Cassidy Joe last and then chose her for the 24 hours but yep. as we as we you know i may have already forgotten about ariana his first pick who turned him down and then they still gave him another five people to invite to the farm mm -hmm. so he might have already been like eh, the fifth one is already kind of like on mm -hmm. on the road um i also think that alan is kind of like a by the book sort of guy and i honestly think that maybe he just didn't think to ask well what if i don't want to send any of them home? yeah because what was the point of this rob <laughs> jennifer nettles lovely lady leaves these cards for them after they have this lovely Allegedly. day of doing hard labor on the farm that says okay well you know love isn't easy and uh you need to uh if you've not made a connection with someone you should ask them to leave the farm tonight mm -hmm. um and i thought that this was suggesting like you have to make a decision yeah, it's, it's a the, road hey, ceremony it's a tv show we got tribal council tonight we gotta uh, get but, we gotta you know yeah. get some of these people out of here uh we've we can't afford to to pay all of these people <laughs> Right. But this was sort of like the equivalent of like, all right, pick two people to come on the reward. It's like, oh, can we get, can I please get one more? Per all right, fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so everybody did that, I guess, except for Alan, or he really did not care for Sloan. Well, we did get the indication that he wasn't super impressed with Sloan during uh, the, the hard Little manual slow. labor. Little, but, uh, <laughs> she was putting uh, the, the yeah. slow in Sloan. In Sloan. Yeah. <laughs> She was not she's right there. She's not helping out too yeah. much. And yeah. I think a man like Alan, he does he doesn't love that. But I do, I do really think that like Alan is just so deadpan. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's just like I just think that he he was like, 
oh, okay, I have to get rid of someone. And like, doesn't even bother to be like, Mm -hmm. Well, what if I wanted to keep all of them? He's like, well, yeah. this is what I do. Okay, sorry. Bye, Sloan. Where the rest of the guys are like, well. Yeah. Da, da, da. Well, you know, Jenny, um, not the first uh, breakup that Alan has had in yeah. his time. So uh, <laughs> when, you've been, when you've been through what he's been through, uh, ain't no big thing to say goodbye to Sloan because we found out in the beginning of the episode. Uh, we found, talked about last week. My ex mm -hmm. painted the walls. Yeah. And Cassidy Joe didn't like them. Uh, and then uh, we, like <laughs> yeah, we found out this from Alan. You know, um, did I not tell you I was married? You were married? Yeah, I was married to that one. And Cassidy Joe, she mm. could not even believe that he was married. You're divorced. Yes. I don't really believe it. Divorce. Did you try? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you even try? <laughs> yeah, it's very insulting, so, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh yeah, she was shaming the hell out of this mm -hmm. man. Um. So when she says she doesn't believe in divorce, she's like, I don't believe you. I don't believe that divorce took place no <laughs> yeah well I, does she not believe the divorce happened or she does not believe I think in divorce thinks, as a concept yeah i think that she's just like if you are in a real in a marriage if you decide to marry someone and you fall upon hard times in the relationship divorce is not an option you work it out and so she's basically saying like well did you even try like that's you can't oh, just boy. quit when things get hard. Oh, uh, Jenny, this is a lot of pressure on us because <laughs> at the end of this show, we, we have to make a decision. I and know. I'm just, so, I'm just so nervous. If ultimately we decide, if we decide to move on. You're divorced. Yes. I don't really believe in divorce. Did, Did you, you try? try? Did you, Did you even try to podcast about Farmer Wants a Wife? Did you even try that? Mm -hmm. um, Cassidy Joe would be pissed if we don't come back for episode three, I think. Because, like, w we just quit. We just did two episodes and that was it. Like, this was a commitment. Mm -hmm. um, but this is, no, like, and that's fine. Like, a lot of, you know, especially, you know, some some religious people are just like, the sanctity of marriage you do not get into a marriage with the you know the thought of okay well maybe i'll get divorced someday um but i'm like wondering because do you think that it's less of a red flag to get into a relationship with someone who's been divorced or because i sort of think like if this person has been married before they've been divorced that's not an easy thing to do. Don't you think that they're like going to take it very seriously mm. when they're considering potentially marrying another person? Because it's like they know all of the stuff that goes into like having a divorce. It's not like it's like, eh. Well, like, but it's also that you've done it before. You know it's possible. So maybe right. maybe but, the first time it's like, oh, this is forever. And then maybe after you get a divorce, it's like, oh, well, even if even if worst worse comes to worse, like I know that there's all the you, you know, it's different I, I know how to some, do the thing. Right, I guess. But it's like I think I, <laughs> I think that the thing is probably not a pleasant thing to go through through like you know if you have lawyers and sure. like it could have been costly like all obviously all of the like emotional turmoil and all of that it's like it would be one thing if you were like oh i've been divorced three times you're like okay well this this person will get married and divorced on a freaking whim but it's like if it's once i think that that person not everyone but i yeah. think that in a lot of cases you might be like all right this person is probably going to take it very seriously before making that sort of commitment again because mm -hmm. they've had it go wrong and they yeah. know what that looks like. Well, Cassidy Joe, she is going to take it very seriously. She does not believe in divorce. And if she yeah. does get married, guess what? Whoever ends up with me, they're stuck with me. <laughs> right? They're stuck with my ass. You stu you're stuck, stuck with her ass. Stuck with her ass. <laughs> <laughs> on the farm. Yeah. So, uh, that Are there asses on the farm? 
Yes. Oh, wait. Um, we, he we said he would unclear. get a donkey. He said he would get a donkey mm. for Ariana, and she said no. Yeah, you're you're stuck with her ass. You know what? I'm going to give him a little bit of the sass. <laughs> yeah. Forever. Forever. You're stuck with it, okay? Stuck. Sorry, Alan. <laughs> Jenny, we got oh. to see all of the ladies arrive. Everybody had sort of like their overnight day. The only other like uh, thing uh, to mention, but boy, Ryan, uh, boy, this guy Ooh. is uh, smoochy, really smoochy. <laughs> He's gonna, uh, well, for, for Ryan. Did you try? Yes. Uh, it was, <laughs> I don't know that he did. No. I, think, I think that it just came to him. Boy. I think that this man oozes sex appeal. And, I guess so. Because he and kissed, they can't keep their hands off of them. Two of the, the five initiators. women already. The women have been initiating the the smoochy smoochies with Ryan. Mm-hmm. One hundo P. Yeah. Um, but... I like he's it's not like he's not putting well, up the signals. OK, so in <laughs> the first 24 hours with Haley, OK, uh, that they had dinner and then they did have a kiss at the end. But later on in the episode, he has a kiss from some other woman that seems Sarah. just like completely out of left field. I believe it's Sarah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think. Yes. So, yeah. Sarah wanted she, to explore her connection with Ryan and they had a romantic moment. I think Sarah might've been feeling like, Hey, there's an elimination tonight. I gotta, I gotta get going. Well, Ryan was impressed with Sarah earlier in the day because she, they were fence making fixing. a fence. <laughs> they were fixing a fence and she's not like a farm type girl, but she's got good attitude. Mm -hmm. So that's super attractive, right? Like someone that just has like, a go-getter attitude is like, hey, this is maybe not for me, but mm -hmm. I'll give it a try. Okay. All right. Um, so, yeah. So, all the dates are coming through, uh, and uh, we see uh, the women uh, en route to H Farmer Hunter's house. Uh, this was some of the conversation in the van coming out. Yeah. I wonder what they did. Like, I wonder if she got down and dirty. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. It was only 24 hours. They just met each other. By the way, we're making this show sound like <laughs> twice as good as it actually was. <laughs> like, we're making this show sound like really good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> People are like, ooh, Farmer Wants oh, a Wife racy. sounds really good. <laughs> no, there were two kisses. No one got down and dirty. <laughs> People did get dirty. There was hay. There was <laughs> hay. I don't know if there was really much dirt. Yeah, but... <laughs> there, let, let's just say a few of these ladies were down for a roll in the hay, okay? Yeah. And uh, they were rolling the hay there was a lot. All sorts of a lot hay they, rolling going they, on. Yeah, there, a <laughs> lot of rolling hay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. There um, was wood. Yeah. Yes, and they. <laughs> <laughs> the women were handling wood. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's a mm -hmm. thing. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um. So, yeah, everybody is uh coming in. Uh, Jenny, what do you think of the bunk bed situation? Uh, here, I think this is that hu <laughs> Farmer Hunter's house. Does <laughs> Farmer Hunter have these bunk beds That's all the time, or did production know. set them up? That's what I wanted to know because it's like. That's the wild thing about having um, these five people come to your home that is not like a fake home. Like this is apparently where they live. This, this is their farm. Uh, so these these homes are probably not like set up already to have five guests. So yeah. I think unless like Hunter's the kind of guy that has slumber parties all the time, has his buddies over and he's like, get in the bunk beds. Because I do think that if you're like, you're going to go like party at a farm. Yeah. You're not driving home. You can't get an Uber. I guess like, so. But typically, so, I think if you are going to have house guests out at the farm, uh, do they all sleep in bunk beds in the living room? <laughs> oh, what? You don't, the house, you don't think the house was just set up with bunk beds? The problem is, is that like, it looked like they were meant to be there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. like they were very like they did match they yeah. matched the like the vibe of so if these were uh production props which they like very much pr 
probably were because why does Hunter just have multiple bunk beds in his living room? Um, they did a good job making it look intentional at least because mm -hmm. he probably doesn't have multiple bedrooms. Like he, he's a man that lives by himself. He wants a wife. He didn't want five guests. Mm -hmm. I guess so. Um, so yeah, bunk beds. How I mean, that's decide, fine. Yeah. Uh, how Are you a decide? top bunk or a bottom bunk guy? I think I'd rather do the top bunk, I think. Yeah, me too. I'm a top yeah. bunker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I just like the, I like being a pie. Yeah. I think it's cool. Yeah. I think if you're a, you know, somebody who like falls out of the bed, I think you want to be a bottom bunker. Yeah. But usually have, they have, have like the rail. The boys. Yeah. And like, I don't know. There's something it's, I think being on the top bunk feels safer for me because mm. um, even though this is completely irrational, I like, I don't have the fear of someone falling onto me, like the, the, the bed breaking and being crushed to death by someone above me. Mm -hmm. That won't happen to me. I'm on the top, baby. Like that's, these are thoughts I have when I choose mm -hmm. the top bunk. Okay. So. Uh, did they have bunk beds on special forces? No, they had just all. No, they uh, just had like bunks. cots yeah. on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's too bougie. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, some of the other highlights. Uh, we got to spend a lot of time with Sloan, uh, who ultimately is not going to stick around. She would love to be a farmer's wife. She's lived in Miami for the last uh, ten years. I do feel like there's a lot of women who really do not have a lot of farm experience, who for some reason really want to really ha go all in on the farm. It's like, well, I don't really know about living on a farm, but I would like to marry a farmer. Yes. I it hear seems it seems <laughs> nice. So <laughs> there's a lot of things going on here. Um, I will say I have noticed the ones that live like in more like metropolitan areas at this point or like bigger cities. It seems like they all hail from like country areas um originally and that like their adult life is lived in a city so they have like some sort of like affinity for that lifestyle but none of them are like seem to be really used to farmer lifestyle the other thing that is in play here is that the the storyline is like i it's really hard to find a hard-working man with good values and apparently the only way to do so is to date a farmer that is the only way to find a hard-working man Mm -hmm. with good moral and value in a world like, upside down jenny the only uh, real man a woman could find is if the man that lives alone on a farm yeah that's it like it's such an extreme it's like it needs to be this very specific uh occupation um i i think that it's like probably just very rough out there in in the dating streets and honestly I can attest that it like it seems to be a thing um, based on friends I have that are, you know, currently having to deal with the landscape of dating in 2023. Have they so, considered landscaping on a farm? <laughs> I mean, listen, I will say farming for love is coming to Canada. It's, so what's we are farming getting for love? Own. What? What's farming for love? It's literally this show. It's like it's hmm. like the Canadian version of Farmer Wants a Wife. It's coming to CTV in Canada. Yeah. Well, so. I, I, let me see um, if the ratings for last night were any better. I, I do feel hmm. like that there is like I do understand like uh, the appeal of uh, this show because that it is sweet. It is earnest and not yeah. like the, that bug on Survivor last week. And like, I do feel like that for people that are like, uh, like th th these values appeal to you. I do think that there is maybe this is a wholesome show. Uh, there was a couple of kisses, uh, <laughs> but I do think that like uh, people could resonate with this content. Oh, for sure. Um, and that's why I think like a lot of the people on the show are very normal. Like in, in a way where it's like, I, I'm happy for them. You know what I mean? But it's like, also you're not gonna, you're, you're not gonna do anything that wacky because you are not going on the show for Instagram followers or attention. You sincerely think that, yeah, maybe I'll marry a farmer and that's lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but 
I think that you know what this show could use what? is a wacky host. Oh, no shade yeah. to Jennifer Nettles, even though I had absolutely no idea who she was. Mm -hmm. Um, I just think like you know the last couple of dating shows that we've covered, Rob. We had the Real Love Boat, yeah, which wacky. We were blessed beyond blessed to have Jerry O'Connell and Re Rebecca Romaine. So, and then we had Joe Millionaire, which he wasn't really the host, but Martin the Butler. It's very beautiful, wacky. Amazing. Yeah. Like there needs to be a quirk here. Um, and I just feel like that's what we're missing with Farmer Wants mm -hmm. a Wife. We need like, a, we need like a quirky host or something. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking at the ratings for the Farmer yeah, Wants a Wife. And so I can tell you that um boy these uh ratings are a little hard to read uh um, i don't but, understand ratings i will admit yeah it's... looks like they were just like okay okay like oklahoma kinda... where one of these farms is yeah so <laughs> kind of you know d definitely d uh, did not hold the lead from uh the the mass singer mm. listen and and survivor the highest rated show of the but night. Maybe if if the true audience of this show is like wholesome and family, mm -hmm. maybe nine o'clock is too late. Maybe nine o'clock is too late. Maybe they should switch it with uh, the mass singer. Yeah. Maybe. Do you think that okay. that's that's the better setup? Is mass mm, I think the, the mass singer racier? Set. Yeah, it's. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's racy. I think but... that's a little bit more for kids. Like there's costumes. There's costumes. <laughs> there's, like... a lot of, there's a lot of yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Nicole is one of the women that Landon has picked. Uh, Nicole has a thing that she was the last draft pick. She was the mm -hmm. Mrs. Irrelevant, uh, as we uh, say in the NFL draft. Uh, and <laughs> do, do you know? Do you know that? No. That the, the the person who gets picked last in the NFL draft, they call that guy Mr. Irrelevant. Uh, that's oh, the my title goodness. bestowed. On that person. And they but carry actually, that for the rest of their life? Well, a lot of times they don't even stick in the NFL. It just so happens that this last year, Brock Purdy uh, of the 49ers happened to be the last pick in the draft. And he turned out to be very relevant. Right. Okay. He was the yeah. most relevant, uh, Mr. Relevant. Yeah. Yes. That's wild. That's mm -hmm. what. That's so mean. Yes. Sports are so toxic. Yes. I mean, um, I love them, but <laughs> that's mm -hmm. very toxic. Like, you're it's irrelevant. fine you it's the fine then nobody cares pick. nobody cares they're fine yes <laughs> they're uh, making but, so much money <laughs> but anyway so nicole uh she is a little hung up on being the last pick but like how are you not nicole and uh thinking okay well um alan picked cassidy joe last mm -hmm. and asked her uh to spend 24 hours and that was technically his sixth pick so i know it's not the same guy but like she watched i'm pretty sure they were all there while everyone picked each other would or maybe they weren't i now i don't know but i just think that like these the the order that you're picked doesn't necessarily mean anything especially if the first person that was picked isn't the person that got picked for 24 hours because it's mm -hmm. like I could understand okay there's an order of the picks and then the person that got picked first it's also the person that gets chosen to have the first 24 hours together but if that doesn't happen then you're then you can probably say the picks might have been arbitrary like they might have just done it in whatever yeah, we order don't know we don't know what order up. also yeah. if I were a lead I would purposely not pick that way because I would not want it to be like obvious that I am picking like someone that I'm the least interested in last or something. I don't know. I don't, don't you think that you would like change it up a little bit? Look, I would do it Jenny, alphabetical. I do it uh, alphabetical. Look, the farmers that they know what they're doing. Okay. Do they? I don't know. I mean, they're not <laughs> married. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, yeah. you're shaming them for not being married. I guess I guess they know what they're doing in some things, but not but not in others. <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know. But I like it clearly she she was saying she she had some like issues in the past where she felt like she wasn't good enough. And so mm -hmm. this brought things up. And I was like, 
don't do this girl. Like I was like, please don't say this to him because I felt like these are the kinds of conversations that yeah, kind of start a, like, a, a, like a narrative that does not go well for that person. Right. Ultimately, Landon is going to reassure her later on in the episode. She's going to confront him about it. And he's like, look, like, uh, don't don't put any weight in that. Um, you're not here just because I had to pick five women out of the eight. It's like, wait, yeah. hold on. Then I'm confused because I thought that's literally what happened. You did have to technically like mm -hmm. <laughs> so much to the point that the man that got rejected got to go into the sixth round. Yeah, he, you literally had to pick five people. Yeah, it seems that you did have to. Mm -hmm. um, five women had to say yes, yes, and you got to take them. <laughs> um, and like, what he, is he saying? Like, no, I like you would not be one of the five women I liked. If, you would not be here if you were not one of my five favorites. Okay. You just happened to be the fifth favorite. <laughs> I, it was in no particular order. Well, he did. He did say, um, well, he's like, I could have I could have made a joke like, oh, saving the best for last. But like, I can't do that, which is like mm, kind of smooth on his part. But mm -hmm. well, come on. No one's going to say that. Let's go back to Farmer Allen's house. Farmer Allen, uh, that he's got the women um, that he's got on his chainsaw. Sloan mm -hmm. says she's always wanted a man who can chop down a tree. How important is that for you, Jenny? <laughs> This blew my mind because it wasn't just like an off the cuff being like, I'd love a man that can uh, chop down a tree. This woman said, I have always said that I want a man that can chop down a tree. She said it like this has been something that she's been talking about for years. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm looking for a person that is emotionally mature, has good communication, <laughs> you know, respects me, cares about, you know, I'm like, no, chopping a freaking tree, man. Like, that top is, of the list, look, baby. That's, that's couple goals. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. So number one. So um. now. Like, do you need to learn how to chop a tree now, Rob? Like, oh, you think Nicole is downstairs being like, Rob is wonderful, but you know what? I've never seen this man chop a tree down. Yeah. Okay. Let me, well, Jenny, ask. <laughs> Anybody, any of our listeners, ask at Nicole says what on Twitter? <laughs> does Rob does Rob chop down trees for you? See what so she says. do you think the answer is is have you chopped a tree for her? Several. Several trees. Yep. Were mm -hmm. they big trees? They they, they weren't babies. I would never, I would never kill a never baby tree. Never do that. Would never kill a baby tree. I only kill old, diseased trees. I put them out of their misery. Rob, this is blowing my mind right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are a tree guy. Tree guy. You are. I, hey, I, Jenny, and and if you really want to blow your mind, uh, go put on Survivor Amazon. Okay. Well, this is the thing. Is like that was no offense, Rob. A long time ago. And oh, what do you think? I forgot living in the freaking jungle so yeah you're sort of i just don't know that you're chopping trees in your freaking spare time you're you're podcasting like a million hours a day nope. when do you have time to chop trees yes, i make the time i make the time this isn't this is very impressive honestly yeah you've just got you know what i said i said chopping a tree wasn't important to me but it's, i have a new respect for look you, it was, so it's not it important was. to me but it is important to the first lady podcast and that's what's important mm -hmm. that is the point where it's not about chopping the tree it's about doing the thing that you know is important to your partner mm -hmm. yes and so that's yeah, chopping trees goals. is one of them yeah uh yeah. but rebecca she didn't <laughs> jump in head first uh to no. like uh but even, even though sloan goes goes home alan taking notes uh hmm interesting um over at ryan's house he's having the women fix the fence luckily all these guys have uh their farms are in various states of disrepair <laughs> to have these yeah. prospective wives do you think they broke some of these things <laughs> and, like, like ryan just like kicked a fence he's like uh, i need something for these people to do yep yep <laughs> um alan dropped a bombshell on the potential wives uh hey Sometimes I have to leave for weeks at a time. This must be when he goes to do ag sales. 
<laughs> yes, the egg where he's selling his eggs. Um, <laughs> this mm-hmm. was confusing to me because they're having their little dinner and he drops the bomb and he says, you know, he goes west a couple times a week and you'd be there a couple f- times a week. Rob, I when I tell you, I paused this. And then rewatched it. And perhaps see. I was betrayed by closed captioning. But mm-hmm. he apparently said he goes west a couple times a week. Which hmm. does not make sense. Like how far west? Like That's what I'm saying. It's like, is it like an hour west? Like you're going to have to make dinner that night. I might not be home for dinner. Like what is he trying to say? <laughs> does he go to another part of the country? Yeah. That's a good, that's like, a good question. That doesn't make sense because it's like if you're going f- a far distance a couple times in a single week. Hmm. Aren't you like you're not coming back and then going back again? It, this was such a confusing point to me. It would make more sense if he said he goes west for a couple of weeks. A yeah, few that's times what, a year. That's what I thought he was saying. But that's not what he said is what is messing with me cuz I was like that doesn't that doesn't make a lot of sense because everything that preceded that comment was very much like oh there might be like a week where you're at home by yourself. Mm-hmm. Um but he said I I go west a couple times a week. Hmm. I don't know. I did literally rewind and re like watch this part cuz I was like what? Yeah. So I don't know. I might have been betrayed by closed captioning because the closed captioning said that too. Okay. All right. Uh, I mean, who I can get inside? Doing and maybe that was the cause of the, the divorce. <laughs> She's like, can, can you plan these trips a little bit more like logically? Yeah. You're just also, going? like, and not in the middle of filming a reality show, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Alan, he's the only person that's going to get rid of somebody. He's going to get rid of Sloan. Um, mm-hmm. Sloan. That was awkward, eh? Yeah, she wants to find love, um, but she maybe doesn't need to go to such extreme as to marrying a farmer. Yeah, I think that's a very good takeaway, Sloan. That was a good takeaway. I think that there are several people that are probably going to walk away with that takeaway, being yeah. like, you know what? I I have realized that I want a certain type of person. I don't necessarily have to need a literal to farmer. Yeah, literal farmer, and I'm living in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Going from Miami to uh, wh- wherever else, Oklahoma. Yeah, where. yeah, yeah. Is he out? El- no, I thought he. I don't know. I don't know. Don't don't. I thought quiz he was the North Carolina. This. No, that's Ryan. Ryan. Oh, Ryan's North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah. I think Landon is Oklahoma. Okay. I don't know. Listen, mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. haven't. I haven't had enough time with these people. Just like yeah, they haven't had enough time with the women. That's why none of them could get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, at least nobody's called each other by the wrong name. Yeah. Well, which is impressive because they all have the same freaking they name. They have the same name. Okay. Multiple Ashleys and Haley's and and then Jenny <laughs> at the end we got okay, so Ryan didn't send anybody home, and then uh Hunter didn't send anybody home. Uh but uh we saw that Megan like stands up and she's like she can't deal with that. This is like fake. Yeah, so we were getting like confessionals from Megan before Hunter made his decision that no one was being sent home. And I was starting to think like, oh, we're getting these confessionals from Megan. Megan's going to get sent home because oh, silly me thought maybe when we got, you know, this note saying you should send someone home that maybe people were going to go home. But no. Mm-hmm. So we see, you know, Megan's struggling with the cameras and the TV part. She thinks that if it was real life, she would definitely connect with hunter but she's really struggling and hunter doesn't he says everyone can stay and then they all cheers megan looks uncomfortable through this whole thing every time the camera pans over to her she's like hunched over she just looks so uncomfortable and it was very hard to watch because like you can just tell like you can just tell this is not a pleasant experience for her and so then we get like one of those scenes where you know the the cameras are like pre- like trying not to be obvious that they're filming them because it's like from around the corner and they're, it's like dark while they're talking. Um, and Megan says it feels staged. Um, it feels like everyone's got like a story and like they're all out- so outgoing and she's just like, what am I doing here? Um, and 
Hunter was just like, I'm just trying to get to know you. And she says she doesn't think she can handle the reality TV part. Good. Leave. What do, what do you want? Like, uh, well, which is, is totally Farmer fair. Wants a wife, lady. Yeah. I mean, I think that this, this is, is very the big leagues. Yeah. I, I Like, that's why I'm saying, like, some of these people are like real. Like this, this girl. She's too real. Just wants to marry a farmer, I think. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted the farmer, but I didn't want all this. You should never go on a reality television show that is legitimately about like competing against other people for love. If you are not built to compete with other people for attention, because like, that's the thing that blows my mind on these shows all the time is like when people are like, I'm not here to compete for this man's attention. That is literally why you were here. <laughs> that mm -hmm. is literally the point of the show. <laughs> like it, I, I don't know who told her this was a good idea because everything about yeah. this is obvious that Listen, this was Megan, not like around here. <laughs> you're the livestock that's being judged. <laughs> oh no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Them is the breaks oh, no. on farmer wants a wife. Yeah. I think that there's no way that she's stick. If she sticks around, she will just get eliminated soon. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that I don't think she's long for this world, whether she stays or not, you know? Yeah. They really have not done a great job of fleshing out who most of the women are. I think that no. maybe we have met like of the, I still don't know all this is the, Yes. And, and I feel like that we have not even like really had any sort of like um storyline for like 60 percent of the women like maybe one or two women per farmer yeah i think i can like maybe story. name right. two women that are there for each farmer and that's it and rob you know how much i pay attention to these shows yeah. the notes i take there are just some women where they they were completely purple mm -hmm. i don't know who they are yeah also, Farmer Wants a Wife, uh, not a show that passes uh, the Bechdel test. No. No. Definitely not. I don't even know if we've ever seen two of the women have a conversation. Well, they did hug. When the women would arrive to to the farms, they, the gre they greeted the woman that was already there. Yes. Okay. That was it. That was it. That's that was it. And they did, the though, some of, it. of the women did wonder aloud in the car. Do you think that uh, the one woman that was there already got Sydney hot and heavy and, with the farmer? Sydney and Hunter got down and dirty. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think uh, we have not seen anything about the, the interactions between these women. And like this, the friendships are some of my favorite parts on these shows, you know? Mm -hmm. And okay. so maybe we'll get more of it. They're, they're maybe still trying we to will, flesh it all out. And maybe, maybe we won't. Because, Jenny, we have to make a decision. Okay? Oh, my gosh. That's Farmer Wants a Wife, episode number two. How are you feeling, Jenny, about Farmer Wants a Wife? Rob, I will say, like, this is still a breath of fresh air for me. Yes. After oh, my God. Watching people be literally, like, abused yes. on television. Right. Um, under the guise of a challenge. Um, yes. And this is charming. Themselves. This is this is sweet. It's 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 cute. It's not hot is what I will say. You know what I mean? It's yes. like it's it's endearing. There's little nuggets of things where I'm like, that's kind of funny. Um, but it's not like the, the best thing I've ever watched. It's not like I'm like, God, I can't wait to watch this mm -hmm. again. Um, so that's kind of how I'm feeling. I am content in that, like, I I would continue podcasting about this show because it's it's not hard you know what i mean it's not it's it's not like it's easy yeah it just it's i wouldn't even say like easy because i feel like that makes it sound bad mm -hmm. i just feel like it's like it's comfortable enough yes. um i feel equipped but i'm always open to other things is the thing you know what i mean I'm definitely not in a, in a situation where I'm like, God, I just wish something else would come along. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that's kind of how I'm feeling. How do you feel, Rob? Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like that Farmer Wants a Wife is on the upswing. I think that there were definitely more fun 
moments. Uh, yeah. I don't, they, it's not my favorite show. I don't look <laughs> forward to it every week. Like I look forward to our conversation, but right. uh, I think that uh, it is uh, intriguing. Mm -hmm. I think it's clearly, I mean, there's been multiple seasons of it in Australia. Like it's not nothing. Um, there's something there and maybe it's just a slow burn. Um, it did seem like in the previews for next week that there is at least more drama, more drama coming, okay. whether it's very selective editing or not. I don't know, but there's only one way to find okay. out. Right. All right. We polled our audience today. Okay. We mm -hmm. put out the, we put out the poll on our Robin's podcast patron Facebook group. And we also tweeted it out on Twitter. Jenny retweeted. Okay. Also, you can go there all week long and vote. Okay. And let us know, assuming we stay with Farmer Wants a Wife. Right. That, uh, what, what we should do, but I can tell you the votes are in. Okay. And let me tell you what the audience voted. Okay. All right. Is Farmer Wants a Wife a hit? Or should we quit? Okay. 75% of our voters said Farmer Wants Wife is a hit. Whoa. That's pretty overwhelming. So, that is a lot. Now, Jenny, <laughs> do you want to ring the bell? Uh, okay, well, here here's the thing, Rob, is like I what am I what am I ringing the bell for? Like I'm mm -hmm. going home? I'm going If I'm you go want to leave here and you want to quit, all you have to do is ring that bell. Oh, I just don't I feel like people will judge me if I if I ring the bell here. No, I Listen, I think that based on what I know of the reality TV landscape right now, I feel content with saying, for now, this is a hit. I think yeah. that we are at least trending upwards, and I have at least an interest in seeing what's next. Yeah. You got to do it like, you know, Jenny, <laughs> it is hard. We are out here and every, every week, I do not think that I can continue to podcast about this show. So I am 100% at my point when I say, I'm definitely not going to ring the bell. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Okay, okay, <laughs> Mama Mia. <laughs> and also, my hips are killing me. <laughs> yeah. I have to okay. sit in this chair. It's going to get hotter. It's uh, going to get damper. Oh, no, not damper. <laughs> Can't handle that. <laughs> this is a free-for-all? <laughs> this is what we need. We need a Morrow. We need a Martin. We, we need, need a we need a Jerry O'Connell. Like I'm saying, that's what we're missing here on Farmer Wants a Wife so far. But Jenny's literally like shaking. I'm shaking in need of a mm -hmm. wacky host. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know what? I I think I think that we're making the right decision. Um, I mean, seventy five percent said stay. Yeah. Okay. So Rob's website com slash hit or quit. Sam, update the poll. <laughs> and 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 it should just be for farmer wants a, that uh, should rob and jenny continue to watch farmer wants a wife yeah. yes it's a hit or no they should quit and if it's no they should quit then then also you can write in what we should start watching and keep an eye out for is like some great reality tv show yeah if it's out there yeah we need we need those ears to the street because mm -hmm. they're 
There might be something I don't even know that's coming that is Sam a, says hit just form, waiting to be form is updated. Uh, wow, he moves and, fast. And and, and uh, boy, uh, he's so good on those uh, Google sheets. More like uh, former wants a wife. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so imagine, imagine <laughs> your reality show, Rob, where like they have to like do all of is the it me or Sam? That the women come and they just take Sam's job. <laughs> oh no, no, they have to. Have, they have to... <laughs> Sam's gonna show All right. the ropes. <laughs> Sam, yeah. Sam would be like the host. All yeah. right, it's very, <laughs> it's very important to learn how to book a guest. <laughs> Okay. And you have to update that right. form as All soon right. as Rob says. Okay. All right. Uh, Sam's giving us the finger. Okay. All right. <laughs> Jenny, what's coming up for you? Oh, not a whole lot. You know what? There's things coming up in the horizon, though. So make sure you're following me on Twitter. Yeah. At Jenny, Jenny Autumn. might have some some uh, a big project in the works. I uh, yeah. There might be a few projects. A huge project in the works. Uh, one very big one. Yeah. We'll mm -hmm. see. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, anything else, Jenny? Oh, this was fun. I had a great time and I'm glad I'm feeling like we're, you know, we have a home now. I feel yeah. like this, this makes sense. We know sense. What we're doing. We've for, we doing. For, for months and months, we, we got to figure this out. Yeah. Cause we were I just kind good. of, we were just kind of like just, adrift, just yeah. doing the thing, you know, yeah. and now we're doing the thing with purpose. We got it. Okay. <laughs> got it. <laughs> all right. Uh, check out all of our Survivor coverage. Uh, had some uh, good podcasts earlier in the day. Uh, my Survivor exit interview. Had a nice chat with Rick Devins as well. Also got to talk Australian Survivor with Shannon Gus this week. Uh, all of our Big Brother Canada coverage and much more. Plus, uh, we are watching a little show called Outlast over on Netflix. Jenny, you know what this is? I have heard vaguely about this, but it sounds intriguing should i mm -hmm. get in on this is is that what i you're don't saying? know if it would be your cup of tea uh rob it is, what is oh, my cup of tea uh i don't know it's not wacky i'll tell you that right now yeah yeah i guess uh it's a little a little dark oh i don't mind dark yeah 16 people living in the alaskan wilderness uh trying to outlast each other to win one million dollars uh, the one, the one rule is a no homicide. <laughs> That's a great rule. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate that rule. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that there's at least that in place. So. Yes. Um. Yeah. So it's like, is it squid gamey? Like a little bit. Uh... I I think they're looking for squid. Uh, most of the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Um, it is a little bit more like uh, yeah, Naked and Afraid meets Lord of the Flies. Oh, boy. And these are real people? Real people, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm intrigued. So, I don't know. Maybe intrigued. I'll just like, I'll just do the, enough so that I can like understand. Because you guys did. I think you, you could guys... just watch the trailer and you know if you're in or out. And you guys did a nothing but Netflix. Of we did the first, the first two episode, episodes. And we're going to finish it. Episodes. We're going to finish okay. it uh, this well, weekend. Can at least do that much. I can handle okay. that much. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us uh, for Farmer Wants a Wife. Would love to get your feedback on the new format of hit. Is it a hit or are you going to quit? Let us know. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.